Let's make an object rotate infinitely on any axis you want and at any speed you want. First, let's go add component. Let's name it rotate and open it up in your text editor. Let's delete some of this stuff that we don't need and we don't need a start function. We only need the update. First off, we're going to make a Boolean variable for each axis. We're going to set each of these to false except for the Y, which is the most common one that I use. You can also set them all false if you want. Now let's make a variable for the speed. This will be a float. And now let's dive down into the update function. Inside the update function, we're going to make a new vector 3 called rotation and set it to 0. Now we're going to have three if statements. Let's start out with if rotate x. Now if rotate x is true, then we're going to set the rotation to plus equals vector 3 dot right. Now we're going to copy this if statement and if rotate y, rotation plus equals vector 3 dot up. And lastly, we're going to copy it again and make a if rotate z, rotation plus equals vector 3 dot forward. Finally, to finish this off and actually do the rotation, we're going to say rotate this transform and we're going to tell it to rotate by the rotation which is the vector 3 that we just created, which chooses which direction it's going to rotate in, or multiple directions, all three, times speed, times time dot delta time, of course, so this is not frame rate dependent. Now you'll see that your object has this component called rotate, and it has three checkboxes to select which axes you want it to rotate on, and it also has a speed that you could set to whatever you want. Hit play and preview your scene. You're going to see your object is rotating on the y-axis. You can see up here in the transform component that it is rotating around the Y by this number changing right here. You can also tweak this while the game is running. Make sure you remember what values you picked when you were in play mode because they will all get reset when you go out of play mode. Be sure to follow for more instant Unity tips.